All right, we got another Cobra check-in, and then we'll see what else we can get into later today. But uh, for now, we got a mead-making video with Josh where he uh, addresses Nal's plan to raise money to come back to Casper while making a really gross <laughs> mead. And then uh, a bunch of Facebook posts from jessica about josh seemingly trying to uh i don't know like show all the evidence of why they should like get back together it's kind of scary they both really seem to be <laughs> going about this all wrong but uh man this video is way too long i cut it down because he just spends so much of it walking into the kitchen to like get supplies because his phone is uh still not set up apparently he got one but like can't do anything with it what a surprise okay anyway let's 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 start with that okay i just got totally distracted looking up bruce springsteen set lists she's twitching in her sleep look at that <laughs> all right i'm ready let's let's get into it i i came back keep getting distracted Mead. Here's his mead now, video. I do not have access to my cell phone, so I cannot film it the way I normally do, but I'm going to start off with a jar. Two cups of sugar. I'll be right back. I can't find the measuring cups I normally... Let's go fetch all of his things from the kitchen since his, um, his computer is his only way of making videos currently with no used phone. To do this. Oh, so that's convenient. Pure cane granulated sugar. Pure cane sugar. I like doing sugar in the ingredients I use, anyways. So a little bit of extra ain't gonna hurt. Now Jessica Boyle's trying to go live on Twitch because she there wants money to go, to come back to Casper and get a hotel and everything. And I told her we broke up, but she won't listen. Scary. And she just doesn't get it, you know? You don't go live on your social media because you want money. You go live because you want to because you want people to tune in and watch. Yeah, but does he think we don't realize when he goes live and for like the first time in a month and is like, yeah, need money for a new phone. You don't have to donate, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated. Like, is that really so different? The money's a bonus. But flat out going on Facebook and saying, Oh yeah, I can I wanna go live on Twist and nah, 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 nah. She doesn't get it, dude. I'm literally being I'm literally being stalked by my ex girlfriend and I can't stand it. Uh I feel like he's uh secretly thrilled that he's finally in this uh gender reversed situation he's been preparing for for years now. Oh oh so so she could do all this. But but if I was to do it it would I'd be a creep. Uh, all men are evil and uh, I'm a stalker and harasser. He's been waiting for this. Too. Now, I should be getting a new cell phone here soon. Uh, it's in the works. I've already got the cell phone, but it won't restart so I can, like, transfer all my... So I'm going to find a ride down to the cell phone store or wait till Monday. Now, that makes me feel like he bought a stolen, locked iPhone from a shady source. Like, you know, like the person who lost it just deactivated it because they're no longer in possession of it. So it's totally locked. And he's like thinking like it's like he's like probably like going to turn it on. It has like someone's name on it. And he's like, ah, I got to just give this a good restart. You think that's what's happening? What it is. And Jessica Boyle is only going live because she wants money to come back to Casper. She doesn't care about the principle of the matter. Like, he's, like, suddenly caring about, like, the, the live stream culture, the industry. This is not the way we do things in the live streaming union. And, you know, I'm going to open it, and add just a little bit more sugar. He's going to be so mad when it works, you know? Like, she is going to get the money, right? Like, there's, there's going to be, people are going to do the bad thing. And they're going to actually fund her trip back to Casper. It is going to work. That should be enough sugar for our deal here. Next to our jar, we're going to add to uh, some uh, local raw and uh, filtered honey. I'm going to pour the whole thing in there. As always. To add some water to Cold get water to out. get the... Now, today's mead recipe is going to be a Reese's peanut butter cup banana recipe. So I added a little bit of cold water from the sink. He loves putting chocolate solids into the mead as if it's just going to, like, absorb it. Into the container of honey, when I shake it up. 
Shake it up just like that, and then pour the rest of all that in there just, just, just like so. Well, Halloween is just right around the corner, YouTube. I'd like to have a jar of mead ready for Halloween. Sure is going to be spooky. These jars are clean and ready to go. Here's what we got so far in our jar. Now we're going to add a little bit of our water that we're using to make it, just to get that sugar and honey dissolved. Take our trusty wooden spoon and stir it around. And when I make this mead, I will strain the banana and the chocolate out of it. Sure. And then all that's going to be left is banana water. Uh, you think this big old wooden spoon's ever been used for spanking and all that in like 12 days and then i let it age until halloween we're hoping this this mead's gonna be of age by halloween and just pour the whole goddamn bottle of water in there that's a good looking Living honey sugar up. water base now we're gonna add some stuff to it i don't have a cap to cover my uh, airlock so we're going to use this his big old boots stomping around his little bell jingling as he trots around the trailer his his cloven hooves and cowbell as he clops about this water bottle cap as a replacement let's see if it fits now i'm just imagining him with like a like the bottom half of him is like a goat there we that go thing. that fits just nicely all right pop it into place there we go if we had actual banana too, it wouldn't need our Reese's. So we got some frozen fruit banana slices. This new product from Reese's. Not a sponsor. I'd be really interested to see what these actually uh, look like, but I, I I know he's not going to be able to show it in any kind of meaningful way. So it's got life. banana slices with sliced banana. I need to get the Oreo Coke. I haven't seen it. I haven't I haven't been out too much, but I finally have my car here. Got it, got it over here last night. Spent way too much on an additional parking spot per month. But now I can venture off <laughs> as needed, if that's all right with Holly. Anna's enrobed in milk chocolate and Reese's peanut butter Enrobed. That sounds delightful. Yeah, those look good. Let's just break one off and try it. They're good. All right. I never, I never took him for a banana guy. Well, let's see these in a jar. He likes it for its shape, not its flavor. Yeast is gonna love this. Big cup. Reese's big bra. cup. Just, just plunk it in there. A couple of Reese's big Yo, cups. Yo, those uh, Reese's whole cups with the frozen bananas in the middle. Those are delightful. They got some more big cups. I'm gonna throw a couple more in there, maybe like two more. Um, is it refrigerated? Is that one? Is it like from like the freezer section? I told Jessica we broke up. Thought like I told her. Stalking me, and you know what she told me? It's not stalking because I love you. That's scary. Guess what? That doesn't work like that for dudes, Chica. Now she wants to go live on her Twitch just so she can get money to come back to Casper. And I told Jessica we broke up, and she will not listen or take the hints. It's so annoying. Yes. And he definitely made it so much worse by actually letting her come in and stay at his place last time. Because that, like, like proved to her that, like, oh, there's still a chance. If I'm persistent, this may still work out. It's already worked once before. But, uh, please... <laughs> If if someone's saying you're stalking and harassing them and you should leave them alone and you're not together anymore and they're going to call the cops on you, please believe them. Please. It's it's not worth still pursuing after that. Even even if even if Josh is like pl was play even if he was playing a little game here of hard to get still uh like just, it's not it's not not worth it. <laughs> Believe people when they say you're stalking and harassing so them. these Reese's Big Cups and just throw them in there. We're going to add uh, slices of banana to it as well before we add the rest of our water and mm, paper-free, of course. Boop. Doesn't matter. We'll add to the flavor. We're going to add our yeast, our water, and our yeast nutrients. That's four Big Cups. How's he resisting eating these Big Cups right now as he throws them into a jar of banana water? Let's add all of them. 
Halloween's right around the corner, YouTube, and I'd like to have a jar of mead to celebrate with. To give out to the trick-or-treaters. And I'm really liking making my own homemade wines and my homemade meads. I think it's a fun little hobby to get into. And you get some, like, really tasty combinations. He loves having rotting things in his place. You know, the one bites the dust. And all that chocolate's going to do is just melt in there and coagulate and mix. Are you sure about that? Are you sure it's not just going to clump up grossly? And that's the thing. Like I said, Jessica doesn't get how the internet works. It's the, only reason you're, the only reason you're going live is so you can get more money to stalk me and Casper. Like, that's bull. See, if she was to say, hey, I'm going live on Twitch later. If you want to watch, come watch. I appreciate it. Why does he care? It's going to work. Your support. And then leave it at that. But literally going on her Facebook page and saying, hey, guys, I'm going live on Twitch later so I can get money to go to Casper. And it's like, she doesn't get how the internet works. She doesn't. And or maybe like, she does. Maybe she really does. Entertain your fans because you enjoy going live, not because you want money. The money you get from the social media is a bonus. And she doesn't She doesn't compute or get that. And it's so irritating. It's gonna, she's going to get it, though. Like she's going to get it, and then she will, not, she will not learn whatever lesson you're trying to tell her. Awesome sauce. Not going to lie, those are Reese's. Came out with a banger of a candy, dude. Whoever Reese's. came up with putting, and they also have a strawberry. It's actually, Reese's. Great version too. But whoever came up with the putting the bananas in the Reese's, give that mother a raise. Fresh bananas. We're gonna add a couple of bananas to our Reese's. Oh, did, he go, here. did he get organic? Older Dole bananas, classic company of first thinking ahead. Of course, gotta keep that plastic on the stem so they stay fresh. Is that what that does? Plastic around the the cut part at the top. I figured that was like to stop it from getting sticky on top, or like having having bugs get in there or something. Mm. Just break them off into chunks. Throw them in there. And the chunks don't gotta be pretty, just throw them in there. Nice. Now, of course, you're gonna make your own alcohol, that is for 21 and up. So, if you, <laughs> you watching Cobra's videos because you wanna know how to make your own homemade wine, and you ain't old enough to drink and your ass gets grounded, I'm not responsible for it. Grounded. Just saying, YouTube. I know, imagining. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine finding out your kids trying to brew mead secretly under their bed or something. What what happened to all my grape juice? That would be pretty. There's wild. already bananas in those frozen Reese's treats, so we're not gonna need a whole lot of banana. I don't think. Maybe like four bananas. We'll see how it's looking. I haven't made a banana wine in a hot minute, but the process is pretty straightforward. You take a little seed off the bottom, and then you. Take it out I don't think there's a seed at the bottom. I think there's a weird part of the banana. I'm pretty sure the seeds are like throughout the whole thing in the middle Gillen, of it. Just break it Very up small. Pieces, throw it in there. Push these down into the water. Churn that up. It's going to be a primi primarily dominant banana flavor with like hopefully a nice little hint of chocolate. Should be interesting. Like, there were like six bananas here, and I mean, I could put all of them in there, it wouldn't really hurt, but I like to save two for a snack because we still gotta have room to add more water. Still having saving two bananas for a snack, unless they like mush it down. Little monkey you know, boy, our yeast, plenty of like artificial sugar and natural sugars. And I'm like, you know what, let's add. The whole, the whole bundle. And oh. The seed at the end. There you go. The Take seed at the off. end. Get that. Let's, let's add the entire bundle. And kind of just mush it down after this one. Yep. That's going to be a primarily dumb. Work those Reese's Big Cups in. Minute banana flavored mead. i to push that down in there. Stir it around a little bit. And one more banana for the hell of it. Wow. Seed off. Do you like bananas and chocolate? Let me know in the comments section below. Does, does he not know that his comments are like basically turned off? Because he has to know, right? He has to see that these videos get no comments except for like the few approved people or like his mods or whatever. Anyway. There we go. There's all them bananas in there. Oh, dropped a piece. 
Clopping around. Let's look at our yeast. Plenty of natural fruit sugars. Better not churn that banana meat, boy. And other sugary goodness. And with these chunks being in here, it'll make it easier to filter out. What? We're going to leave the bananas in here for 12 days. And then we're going to take our strainer. I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. In case you're new to my mead making. I've never seen a strainer Push before. Thank you. There. Beautiful. That's a lot of water in here. Now the bananas are free floating in there just like that. That's going to be beautiful. We got a little room for some more water. Just a little bit more. Not too much more water. We're going to leave some room at the top for it to burp. That's a good level to have it at. Turbo Can't yeast doesn't it. require a whole lot. It should be my best flavor of mead yet, I would suspect. Now before we Really? Above the like ones that you've made that are like actual like grape juice and stuff, the, the bananas and Reese's are gonna do it. Add the mead, the mead yeast to it, and the difference between wine and mead is mead is basically wine with honey in it. So if it wasn't for the wine, I mean, if it wasn't for the uh, honey, this would just be a, a banana Reese's wine. Just stir that around. You think? We're going to give ourselves a cup of this yeast nutrient. Just a little capful will do us. One capful of yeast nutrient. Okay. This will give our yeast a Thanksgiving feast. See that rhyme? It's hey. cute. No, but seriously. Stir the yeast nutrient around. And this isn't going to be ready till Halloween. That should give us at least a month and some odd weeks till it stankify. Stir that around. Stank I do that. have measuring cups or measuring spoons, I mean, but the ones I normally use for my wine I could not find. So I just kind of eyeballed the. How does he lose the measuring cup? It's just him, and, unless Jessica took him or moved him or something. I don't know, but it's just it's just him in that place, and he like doesn't even use his kitchen because he doesn't want to make a mess that he has to clean up. So he like orders delivery all the time. How does he lose the measuring cup? Ingredients here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a tasty meat, folks. Now, if you oh, watch boy. me on on my meat making, you know what's up, YouTube. But this is the strainer I'll use. Ah. I place it over the top of the jar when it's empty on the empty jar, and then I pour all the liquid through the strainer into the clean jar. After twelve days of letting it ferment. Right. Now we got some of this. My fans have been sending me turbo yeast and I and wine making yeast and I Who's encouraging this? You send this to him? Appreciate it. <laughs> this is a turbo fruit yeast. Makes up to six point six gallons of wine and or mead and it can be poofed up to eighteen percent alcohol by volume. Oh wow. I'm out of alcohol and I wanted to start a new batch of mead anyways. So we're gonna do that. I like how he, he when he's out of alcohol, he's like, ah, I better start up a fresh batch to eat, have a month from now. At least it Cigar. makes him drink less, Spoon I guess. right here, and I pour about this much in there. That should be more than enough. Get in there. Get in there. You don't need a whole lot of, whole lot of yeast because it will foam up. There should be plenty of it. Pour it in, the yeast in there. Now that it's in there, we're going to stir it up, man. Oh, God, he made jankum. See what I did there? I made a joke. Yeet! <sighs> so gross. Take our cauldron of goodies. The, 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 the Reese's Big Cup's just rolling around Here the bottom stir hole. It around. Really incorporate the That's yeast. That's so funny. In there. Last time I added a bunch of yeast to my meat, it was almost a third of a cup, and I did not need that much because it was Ooh. foaming over the top. So oh, that thing's gonna be that thing's gonna be dripping down the sides all over the uh, the mead shelf. You think uh, I I know like Jessica was saying there's like flies in there last time she was there. You think they just hang out on the mead shelf? Definitely have enough yeast in here. That yeast is gonna convert all. They the just fly in through the window because they smell rotting fruit. Sugar in here into alcohol. Stir it around. In like the next 12 days, that chocolate is going to melt. In the Are you water sure about that? With the banana. I, I'm doubting it. I think it's just going to clump stir it up. And we're going to incorporate it in there. 
Oh yeah, this is chocolate chocolate. This guy, he's got the most fat content in his in his alcoholic beverage I've ever seen. <laughs> Peanut butter floating around. That's in gonna it. be a tasty meat for sure. The yeast is gonna love that. Put the jar down for a second. I'll put our wooden spoon back up. The taste off that mead, so well, so far from what I can tell, is straight bananas and chocolates. Very dominant on the banana no chocolate kidding. flavor. No kidding. What but else? But on the aftertaste, it tastes just like peanut butter with a slight oh. peanut butter taste. Oh, wow. Put our airlock oh. on. I want to add some water to our airlock here, too. One second. Bananas, Reese's, and sugar water. Now we got it filled up to the line right there. Take our, our bottle cap and uh, pop it back on the place. And there we have it. Anyway, our next jar of mead. Back to Jessica. Banana. Now I'm going to take some tape and put it around the lid here because the lid, like I said, this has cracks gonna, in it. This thing's going to explode or something, right? Like <laughs> right there. So I don't want it leaking if I can help it. Just to make sure we don't get any air in our in our lid here. Oh, yeah, the painter's tape right. is sure going to create an airtight seal. Got our wine when we don't want it. That'll do it. You can always see it's starting to foam up a little bit. Let's put this on the this good, glorious bastard on the shelf. Careful now. I do have a new foam, but I'm not going to be able to, like, Get everything transferred to like Monday because of the way the phone's being. So it is what it is. There's, it's definitely a stolen phone, right? Catch you on the next. Totally, totally just ordered a stolen locked iPhone. Bro's gonna go to the go to the phone phone store on Monday, and they're just gonna confiscate it from him. All right, that was that. Now let's uh, see all the posts Jessica has been making about Josh in the last day. We got a picture of Jack Daniels. I heard someone didn't have alcohol. I do, and he could too. But, shrug, I would have got a big bottle for him too. Except she always used to complain about his drinking. So I take this as like she's saying like, ah, if, we'd, we'd, if you were still letting me be with you, I would have bought you alcohol. As if that's uh, gonna get him back. And hey, it might, you know, you never know. Pretty sad though. Oh, also I realized um, when she like shares these like pictures of people and like is like saying mean things about them and like posting pictures of the their like dead family members and stuff. I believe uh, those are people that laugh reacted to her posts on here. You know, like Facebook, you can you can like stuff, you could love it, you could laugh at it. Don't you dare laugh. At it. <laughs> Another picture of that Jack Daniels. We were supposed to make an album. Oh, uh, Jessica Boyle is feeling sad, by the way. 18 hours ago. We were supposed to make our album together. Whiskey for Your Woes was supposed to be our first song. And I already had come up with a few lyrics for that song while I was there. I still very much care about this man if he only knew. That's funny because he says that you're stalking and harassing him. So I don't, I don't think the album's going to happen because this sounds crazy. Then... <laughs> 17 hours ago, his status thing, tagging Josh Saunders, saying, call me, which is, again, a wild thing to say when the person is asking you to stop harassing them. And uh, it's a short video singing a song, I think, like making fun of somebody. Then another video of making some faces. <laughs> I don't know. Is this, is this the album artwork for uh, Whiskey for Your Woes or, or something? Is that what that is? And uh, there you go, yeah. So, like, how this looks, like, if you take a step back and, like, see, like, the overall, like, like what is obvious to the viewer here at a surface level, what you see is her trying to, like, convince him that they should be together and saying that she's going to raise money to come to where he lives and him saying, you're stalking and harassing me, leave me alone. That... That's the surface level. That's what we get as, as the viewer. Isn't that concerning? So I don't know if she's gone live on Twitch at this point. It's got to be like a new channel, right? The other one has to have been banned. It was so bad. But yeah, it's all pretty scary. Uh, do you think she will actually raise the money and then go fly out to Casper? I mean, don't help her. You, you may find yourself assisting in some kind of horrible crime. So, you know, you, you probably don't want to help. She's already... Uh, seemingly uh, uh, threatened him with an $8 machete. So I'd say don't get involved. But let's see what happens with it. I'll see you for the next one. All right, bye-bye.